Hello and welcome to Breaking Bread with the Black Pack, a family dinner cooking show. Before we start, I wanted to give a little history. My name is Tammy. I grew up with a severe lack of appreciation for food and the people who prepared and served it to me. I can't tell you this story without telling you more about Sonny. If you guys know Sonny, him and his wife Michelle have a cooking show on their channel, Black Media Presents. I've known Sonny since I was in high school and I remember even back then going to McDonald's and hearing him gush about how good the hamburger was. And I remember at that time, I was thinking, I've never heard somebody talk this way about a McDonald's hamburger. Also, at the same time, we would go out to eat at these fancy, beautiful Japanese restaurants and Sunny would order the most exotic thing that I'd never heard of and approach it the same way. Over the years, I realized how much passion and love he had for food and tasting and the entire process, the love, the energy that someone puts into these things, the thought. Whenever we'd go out to eat, if he saw something interesting on the menu that would benefit someone he was with, he would order it and everyone would share it and taste it, discuss it. It was such a cool way of looking at food that I never thought of before. We loved our food outings. When COVID hit and we couldn't go out to eat anymore, they started implementing a nightly cooking rotation in their house and I wanted to get in on that. We had already been rotating breakfast duty on our group stream days, but I had never made dinner. For the fam. So for the past few months, I've been trying to come up with a new menu every week for everybody to eat together. And it's been such a wonderful learning experience. Cooking for up to 10 people at a time is very unique. My whole life, I just cooked for myself as sustenance. And the few times I tried to cook for friends and family were met with dread. Whenever I'd visit Sunny's home, his wife Michelle was either pulling something out of the oven or had something on the stove that smelled amazing. They always invited me to stay for whatever meal they were eating. So generous, and I always accepted. I'm always in awe of Michelle's meals. The creativity, the love, the care she puts into every dish is unparalleled, and it inspired me to want to do the same. So while I'm not very experienced with cooking, and a lot of the dishes I'm gonna be filming are ones that I'm doing for the first time, I wanted to take you guys on the journey. I've learned so many cooking techniques from Michelle and Sunny, from each individual dish to the entire menu planning. It's something that is a work in progress and I would love to get your feedback on with all these meals in the comment section below. So let me know what you think, let me know what you would have done differently and how you would have spiced things up in your own way. So because St. Patrick's Day is coming up this week, I wanted to do something in line with that. I'm making corned beef and cabbage. I'm also going to have a side of mashed cauliflower in place of potatoes, just to try to go a little bit less carbs. I'm also going to have a smoked salmon spread for the appetizer. I'm also going to make an Irish soda bread on the side and some brownies for dessert. So I plan today to start with dessert because the brownies are going to be fine sitting for a while. The corned beef is going to take about three or four hours. I'm going to start that right after I'm done with the dessert. Then while the meat is cooking, I'm going to work on the bread and the cheese spread. I'm saving the cauliflower for last because I've saved mashed cauliflower before and the liquid starts to separate from the solids. It's a bad look. So I'm gonna to try to prevent that by serving it the freshest. Let's get this into the oven. So we want to cover the meat. And chicken stock. Ooh, bouillon cube. Four. That is a lot of flour. Teaspoon baking soda, baking powder. I rarely use this one. Tablespoon seems like a lot. I usually do like a half teaspoon or something of this. So we are turning it down to low. Looks so yummy. Ooh, it's crumbling. I 
hope it gets bigger than this. It's so tiny. So now we're gonna melt butter and mix it with buttermilk and we're gonna brush the top. I normally score my bread with razor blades. So this is a bit different. This is new to me. I just hope it all fits in here. So here's some horseradish. One tablespoon Worcestershire shirt, 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 sauce. These are some walnuts that I toasted last week. So here is our little appetizer. I'm gonna serve it with some Kerrygold cheese and it is smoked salmon and cream cheese. Right now I'm gonna do the dishes, clean the countertops, prep the vegetables for the next step of the corned beef. 